Got it. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right. I, I do have, uh, <clears throat> I was talking to some friends who knew that you were going to be on the show. And I said, hey, feel free to throw me some questions if you want. And I'll, I got one that I'm kind of interested in. Uh, sure. I, I have a feeling you may go, oh, geez, you may roll your eyes at this, but roll with me anyway, because we're <laughs> friends now. So uh, let's see. Listener in Charlotte, North Carolina, Matt writes, Joe worked with Lou Smith on several occasions during his career. Lou yes. also worked the John Benet Ramsey case, which remains unsolved. He did. But Smith right. maintains the killer is in the case file. Matt wonders, Joe, if you'd consider looking at the file and Smith's notes in an effort to resolve this unsolved case. I would not because I have no jurisdiction in Boulder, Colorado. And the other issue in the Boulder case is that the police made enormous investigative errors that will prevent that case from ever going to trial. They'll never get in a courtroom with it. So it was so uh, muffed up not. from the get-go. That is correct. Yeah. It is beyond repair. It fascinates the press because the family puts the fun back in dysfunctional. <laughs> Most people teach a five-year-old girl how to ride a bicycle. They don't dress her up like a whore and have her dance around the stage to relive her mother's youth. Yeah. That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. So to the press, it's a man bites dog story and they won't let it go. In terms of reality, the investigative errors are fatal to criminal prosecution. Gotcha. So there's no way it could be resolved. You can say, you can speculate, you can talk about it, you can do all that. And that's all it is. Yeah. Smith worked for me for a number of years. Smith's a very good detective. But Smith would get personally involved in things, and you can't do that. And he would not, well, he didn't want to quit. And he called me when that case was underway and wanted me to come help him. And I said, Lou, you got to stop crawling around in graveyards. It's not good for you. <laughs> you have no jurisdiction in that area. And if are, let me ask you this. Are the press accounts accurate of what the Boulder PD did before you got involved in it? Well, yeah, they're accurate. I said, then what are you going to do with this? You're not going to court. No one's going to get arrested and no one's going to get convicted. No one's going to get past a preliminary hearing. You couldn't even get an arrest warrant signed. No, no kidding. All right. So it's like, what are you doing? Then he was angry with me and he hung up and that was the end of it. I'd never talk to him about it again. But uh, 